In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set your engine to top dead center. First, identify cylinder number one. Cylinder number one for an inline engine like this one, it's always closest to the timing side. So this one is going to be cylinder number one. If you have a V-shaped engine, I suggest getting a diagram. For most V-shaped engine, cylinder number one is always going to be on bank number one. Next, remove the ignition coil or spark plug wire and you want to remove cylinder number one spark plug. Next, take a long quarter inch extension or three eighths of an inch extension and put it in the spark plug hole until it sits directly on top of the piston. Next, you want to rotate the crankshaft. For most vehicles, the crankshaft is going to rotate clockwise. However, some vehicle, the crankshaft is going to rotate counterclockwise. And for this vehicle, the crankshaft is going to rotate clockwise. So what you want to do is you want to rotate the crankshaft until you see the extension start traveling upward. So let's rotate the crankshaft. As you can see, the extension is traveling upward. It is important to set cylinder number one on the compression stroke. During the compression stroke, both the intake and the exhaust valves are closed. And I'm going to show you guys how you are on the compression stroke. You're going to need a compression gauge and make sure it comes with a few adapters. Next, you want to rotate the crankshaft until the extension is at the lowest point. And when it starts to travel back up slightly, then you want to connect the compression gauge. Make sure the gauge is nice and tight because you don't want any false reading. Now rotate the crankshaft until you get a reading on the gauge. So let's rotate the crankshaft. Right there. Next, release the air and remove the compression gauge. Next, take your extension and put it back in the spark plug hole and make sure it is sitting directly on the top of the piston head. Cylinder number one is almost at top dead center. Cylinder number one is at top dead center when the extension is at the highest point. So what you want to do is you want to rotate the crankshaft until the extension is at the highest point. Stop rotating the crankshaft when the extension start to travel back down. As you can see, we're now at top dead center. I hope you found that video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.